Hi guys, it's CVP Man with TablesForMe.com, and today we're going to look at a existing tablet that's on the market today, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. But this time we're going to look at the Student Edition. Uh, this edition of the Galaxy Tab includes the tablet, the keyboard, and the USB connector. So let's take a look at what's inside. All right, so let's go ahead and break the seal on this box. Let's see what's inside. So, uh, looking at the box, we have our user guides. Okay. Uh, the tab right there. We have our USB connector. It's a good value. And then also it comes with a dock keyboard combination. Let's get that. So that's um, our keyboard combination. Let's take a look at each one of those items. Right, so before we go and take a look at the tab, which is the white version, let's go ahead and take a look at the dock. So we'll go ahead and open up that guy for a second. We'll take a look at the uh, what the actual keyboard looks like, or docking station keyboard combination. Um, so, I'm going to open that up. Um, you can see the tablet rests here, um, and here you have your, your connector uh, that would then enable the keyboard uh, to work. And it's a decent sized keyboard. It's uh, almost, it's, I wouldn't call it a full size keyboard. But it definitely is an easy keyboard to type on. It uh, I don't really feel cramped at all. So we'll have to see how that performs as we start typing on the tab. It also has on the back, it looks like a speaker line for output. So there you got your speaker line for output. You can see that right there. Over here, it looks like it has another connector, which I would guess that's going to be for charging. So you can put your power cord there. And then there are no other um, connectors on the device um, or on the keyboard. You'll notice that there are some hot keys um, on the keyboard. So you have your microphone, your search uh, button right here. You also have, obviously, a, li a little light that I, was, I would assume uh, lights up as you have power connected. And then uh, brightness controls, volume controls, some multimedia. So this really uh, turns it into like a multimedia uh, type keyboard. There's shortcuts for internet access, mail access, and even uh, to lock the tab, the, your little multitasking window right here so that you can open up um, and, and switch between applications, the home button and the back button. So in addition to your standard keyboard, you, know, you have these special function keys that are unique to the Android operating system. Let's take a look at now the USB right, connector. So uh, let's take a look at the, the USB connector. Let's go ahead and open this up. Yep. It's kind of the last thing in there. All right, this is a great add on. I have this for my Galaxy Tab 10.1 uh, as well as for my Galaxy Note 10.1. Actually, they're interchangeable. They, they, um, I just have one, but it's compatible with all of them. So, what this allows you to do is to connect external USB devices. Great for transferring uh, photos uh, to your tab, and it connects to the bottom of the tab. And uh, again, it's, it's an existing accessory. All right, so now let's take a look at the tab and let's. Um, Open the box, so we'll break the seal on the tablet. There's two seals on each side. And again, this is a white version 8 gig tablet. Um, here you have the tab. Again, hasn't really changed much, uh, so we'll, we'll go into that a little bit later. Um, you have in the box, you have a user guide. Uh, you have your standard uh, charging cord and uh, proprietary connector. Uh, you have, again, your power block here. Um, we'll put that together a little bit later for charging. Uh, pretty straightforward when it comes to what's in the box. Right, so let's go ahead and start up this tab. First thing I'll do is I'll remove the protective screen cover that came with the device. And um, let's just go over some of the buttons. So what you have here is your power button. You have your volume rocker. You have this um, infrared port. This is great, especially if you have a Samsung TV or any other TV. You can use the tab as a remote control. You also then have on the bottom, uh, you have your speakers. Notice one speaker there, one speaker there, so you have um, stereo sound. Your docking connector, uh, connector. This is also used for charging as well as putting to the docking station. And then here you have your uh, micro, uh, micro SD card. Uh, supports up to 32 gig. Let's go ahead and turn on the tab and see if, what version of Android is loaded. So let's see the startup. It should have enough charge for that. So here we have our notification or our logo screen coming up. It's a nice screen too. It's 
standard Samsung logo. You hear the music coming out in stereo sound. You do have, a, one thing I failed to mention is that you do have a back facing camera and a front facing camera on this, uh, on this tab. We'll let it continue to go through the startup. And this will be standard Android startup, so we'll just go ahead and hit start in US English. It's going to look at the network, so let me uh, pause this and connect it to the so Connect it to the network, and I'll go ahead and hit next. Um, it's looking at today's date and the time, and that's um, it's not accurate, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll set that a little bit later. Hit next. Um, it's looking for me to sign in. I'm going to skip Samsung account. And now what it's going to do is it's going to look at me get signing in uh, into my Google account. So I'll go ahead and sign in. The next step, it's going to ask you, once you sign in your Google account, do you want to be able to back up the device? Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to take a couple um, seconds to go ahead and set up the tablet. Um, really, this is a brand new device, so there's really no, um, no real weight or nothing to restore. All right, so it did. Um, it went through the um, setup process. Um, it one screen that I didn't show in the video is the actual ownership, the name of the individual who owns the tablet. So I just skipped through that, and we'll just hit finish now. And you'll see pretty much a standard, the standard way um, most of the applications um, show up. Uh, this is pretty common. We've seen this kind of setup with the up of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. It looks like this with uh, these hubs. We've seen this also with the Samsung Galaxy 10.1 Note. So um, settings are pretty much the same. It um, has, let's see, what version of Android. I was going to check the version of Android, but uh, prior to that I got this notification that there's an update. So we're going to hit confirm because we want to go ahead and do that. And we'll see what version of Android um, this gets updated to. All right, so um, after the device registered, uh, started the actual download, you can see that it's actually downloading um, the software update. It's right now 64 megabytes, so that should download in uh, a couple minutes, hopefully. Now, while we're waiting for the download to take place, just wanted to show you how the tablet gets inserted into the keyboard. So we have here um, our connector, and all you do is it's pretty self-gliding or guiding. You just slide it down. And then it connects, and you'll notice that it gave me an audible feedback letting me know that it was docked. You'll also notice that the little light here on the keyboard went on, indicating that it is docked. So pretty standard uh, keyboard functionality, as we mentioned earlier, with the exception of those um, additional keyboard shortcuts that are proprietary to the Android um, experience. But as you can see, it's a pretty nice uh, combo, keyboard and the actual Galaxy Tab 7. Right, so while the download is taking place, I thought I'd take some time to show you uh, some of the things that are going on. So uh, by pressing the home button, you can get rid of the download, but don't worry. Uh, the download is still taking place. You can see that happening um, right here where it says downloading um, is taking place. So while it's downloading, let's go over some of the buttons that you see here. This is your back button. This is your home button. So no matter where you are, when you press this, it'll take you to the beginning. This is going to give you the ability to multitask, uh, bring up you know, or switch applications like in all Android. Uh, this is a programmable button. Right now it's set for screenshot, but you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, there is like a, a couple settings that you'll be able to switch it to. This brings up this little shortcut from a, this little dock, um, and it has like a calculator, uh, a music player, and also your task manager if uh, ever your tablet is running slow. At the very um, uh, left, you obviously have here the date and time, um, things that are taking place as far as downloading, your Wi-Fi connection, your battery level. And then up, up here, you have the ability to go into the apps. Really, this is a, um, there's not a lot of bloatware uh, that is included. While this is, this is uh, TouchWiz, uh, there's not a lot that you have here. You only really have two pages of, of, of apps. Some of the, I would say the majority of them are standard. There's just a couple that are coming from uh, Samsung, uh, which is the Samsung apps, uh, as an example, is one of them. Uh, but really not a lot here in, in the context of bloatware. So what we'll do is, as I mentioned earlier, we'll press home, and this will take us back to the beginning, and we can check and see the status of our, of our update here. And just by tapping it, we can see how far it's going. So what we'll do is we'll go through the update, um, and we'll see what version of the Android operating system we have on this device. 
the software completed downloading. I got a little pop-up if I wanted to install it an hour later. I said, go ahead, do it now. And now it's restarting. What we're going to see is the actual update taking place on the tablet. So once the update is complete, we'll go ahead and uh, see what I'll, if anything has changed. We'll see the version. You'll notice that our little Android guy is going pretty fast. So it doesn't seem to be a very uh, big update. So we'll take a look at it in a couple seconds. All right, so the software completed the update. Now we're seeing the restart again. So let's just uh, wait until that completes up. That's going pretty fast. Here's our update. Next step with any Android upgrade is really uh, once it does the upgrade, it starts optimizing the application. So I haven't really installed anything, but stock it has according to the device around 75 apps. Um, not all of them are visible, meaning you know, things that you interact with. So there's probably some core um, apps that are part of the operating system that it's updating because I didn't see 75 of them. But you know this is pretty normal. So just let it go through the update, and then we'll come back to it. With that update, um, it brought the tablet to 4.04. .04. So um, that's starting up the tablet and what you go through the first time you're starting up the application. So if you have any um, questions on this tablet or any of the other tablets, leave it on the YouTube channel.